Hey, it's Hot Rod here with my friend uh, Tom Killer Kilpatrick, and this is a follow-up on the video we started on this little MG. Been about a year ago, I guess. All right, Killer, let's start on this trunk back here. Show them your uh, my gas new gas tank. tank. Just an aluminum 15-gallon tank with an electronic pump. It's going to be down inside it. The inside's baffled because that's going to be an autocross road race car. So down inside, it's a 10-inch square baffled area for the, for the electric pump. We have a neat. Uh, and this filler. is the filler. The fillers up. The filler caps up here. And what'd that come off of? Partly homemade, partly bought. Okay. But uh, right, we got the rear out of it right now. Got, We're uh, making marine, marine hose to go from there up to here. Marine hose for the vent from here up to here. You gotta show them your uh, steering wheel, what you did there. This is a removable steering wheel so we, fat guys like me can get in. <laughs> and tall guys, it's a little car. He's got that uh, sleeve they made for the column, homemade. This piece here is. This car will race in 2013. Cool. Check out these cool wheels he got on Mazda Miata. Looks a whole lot like, what, what was that wheel when they had The mini lights. Yeah, mini except lights. these are 14 inch. Now we're going to go around to the other side and show you all of these custom built Mazda Miata. Um, it's got Acura rotors. The wheel, the hubs, if anybody f works on their uh, midget knows, they got ball bearing in the wheels, and this, is, this has got uh, tapered bearings conversion. The uh, upper shock has been removed, the lever action shock, and I got an A frame made on custom mounts, which you can see from the top. Um, modified the lower A frame. So this is all custom. This is all, and it's all bolts on too, so if, if in the future I need to modify something, I can take it off and modify it, put it back on. The steering column is done. It's, it's got a Volkswagen Sirocco radiator. Aluminum, um, two inches thick, dual pass. Huge. Still being, that's still being reworked, but I gotta get the motor back in to make sure I get it, everything aimed in the right place. Huge electric fan. Awesome looking mounts, motor mounts. Yeah, they're, they're all ready for finished welding now. All right, let's show you this little motor over here he's got. We're waiting on the head and we're having a hard time getting the head. Yeah, I got my three cylinder head on it right now, which is a head that I cut apart to see how they're made for porting. And, and look what, it's, what he's put on it since the last time. He's surprised. Yeah. Got a T3, T4 turbo. And for people who didn't see the uh, first video, this is a 2.2 Chevy S10 2002 truck with a 96 Camaro T5 five speed with a S10 truck tail shaft. Bell housing and all. An aluminum flywheel and a center force clutch, which is right here. This, this bracket here replaces the, uh, uh, goes here, replaces a piece. This, this is just not finished. This is just to see what it would be like. But this, is, this runs the belt in the right place to run the water pump and get everything working. And the big change uh, that helped me go with a turbo was finding a decent computer that I could afford and we're going to put a mega squirt computer on it which when it's all said and done shouldn't cost over thousand twelve hundred bucks with all the components that I need and all the wiring and and the next step is right over here he's working on the uh, the rear we just added that was in the last in the last film that was in the car but I needed to add this brace to the to the uh, 
uh, Watts link because this Watts link was kind of vulnerable to bending and I thought I'd, I'll put a brace on it. It's also adjustable up and down so this why I've got clevises on there and not just a welded bracket. But the rear is ready to go. The brakes are done, the mounts are done, the axles are narrowed, everything's done. It's ready to be uh, what did the rear cleaned up and put, painted and put back in. What did the rear start out as? It was out of this 64 Fairlane that's behind you. <laughs> Next <project>. Recycled, recycled, <laughs> man. It's got a posi in it, a 3-0 posi at the moment. I'm probably going to end up with a 3-5, but I want to run it and see, what it, see how it drives. That wheel looks awesome. We should have it down on the ground. Hopefully before January, we should have it back on the ground. A roller. That will be great. It's been up on a stand for like three years. All right, I guess that's everything that we need to tell you right now about this awesome little... Sheet metal is coming. That's all the sheet metal in the engine compartment. But again, you need the engine in or you're going to put sheet metal where you shouldn't. So... Which rack and pinion is that? The rack and pinion is out of an earlier uh, MG midget. Mm -hmm. It's the better of the two choices. It's a much if the guys are up on their parts for MG midgets, it's it's much bigger, sturdier, and rebuildable version of what's in them now. Or and this is a '77, so it didn't didn't come with that. Yeah, this is a ride height that's going to have. He's got it sitting so that. There's no shocks on the front right now. It's got, got the, struts in there to hold it at ride height. Still got the awesome little dash in it. Yeah, that's going to have to change because most of those instruments are mechanical and everything will be electronic. The speedo and the... And of course, I got a great big O, great big O uh, tack for it. These, this is the Watts link piece, coilovers. <coughs> yep. She's gonna be sweet. I can't wait to ride in this little monster. All right. Coilovers. This is a coilover for the front, which I don't have in because the, it would make with these in the front end, the wheel would hang down out of ride height position, and I can't check clearances and stuff, so. It's got a solid strut in there in place of the shock. All right, I guess that's it for this video, and we'll uh, give you a follow-up probably in, in January sometime. And uh, over and out.